Hi everyone, Haley here from The Foiled Plan. I am a Canadian crafter from Ontario. Here on my YouTube channel, I share all different types of crafty content. I did get my start in foiling, so that is a big part of my page as well. Anyways, it's been a while since I've set up my camera and done a video where I actually talked right to you. Most of the stuff that I've been coming out with lately is filmed content with a voiceover. So if I'm a little bit rusty today, please bear with me. I I just recently scooped up this Cricut Maker 3. I got a really good deal on it. Back in 2018, when I got my Cricut Explore Air 2, I have loved this machine ever since I got it, and I've never really felt limited by it where I needed to upgrade. If it's not broke, why fix it? <laughs> That's kind of why I'm fashionably late, I guess, to the newest Cricut machines. I am not a only Cricut gal. I do also use Silhouette, which is sitting over there. It's too big to sit up here. Couple of things before we get into the actual unboxing. I am not sponsored by Cricut or any other company for this video. So uh, typically when I'm researching a product, so if you're researching thinking maybe you'd like to get one of these or you wanna know a little bit more about it, I always look for videos that are not sponsored. I feel like that's the most genuine content out there. Not to say that some of the sponsored stuff isn't genuine. That's just how I typically try to find things. So this is not sponsored whatsoever. I've never once been, at the time of this video anyways, I've never once been sponsored by Cricut. This is my 100% honest opinion. And I guess it's not, it doesn't really need to be a review. I'm just gonna show you what it does and maybe talk a little bit more about it. Enough of my rambling, which I do all the time as well as talk with my hands. There's always some nuggets of wisdom in my videos though. So if you can if you can take my rambling and my hand talking, then it might be worth it to you. Okay, let's open this up. Here's the big moment. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I'll turn it like this so you can kind of see what I'm doing. One thing I noticed right away, this is a beast. Before filming this video, I did a couple reels with this for Instagram, and I do so many takes to get the perfect reel, in my opinion. And I was like lugging this thing around, and then once I was finished, I was like, why didn't I just wait until I did the unboxing and then just carried the empty box around? That would have been so much easier. Hindsight is 2020. So first things first, right on top, Cricut. So I'm just gonna set this there, lift off this little piece. One thing that I loved about these machines is there was so many different color options. At the time of this video, this is the only color option for the Maker 3. Ooh, she dusty. Okay, are you ready? So it's all vacuum sealed. They, they probably have an actual name as to what the color is, but it's a very pale blue. I think on the video, it is reading more blue than it actually is. I'm just gonna turn this on the side so you can see underneath is the cord for it. It does come with the cable for you to plug it into your computer via USB. On here, it does say Cricut Maker 3. There's a protective plastic sheet on this that you can take off. I'll probably just keep it on. I'm one of those people. <laughs> I'm also one of those people that saves all of the twist ties. So it's definitely been upgraded, but it also has been a few years. So I would hope there'd be upgrades. <laughs> Is, oh, it looks like this is maybe the material. So it comes with smart paper sticker card stock. It looks like there's a few sheets of things. So that is it for what's in the box. Let's go ahead and open up this. I don't want to rip it, but nice. Okay, so that didn't rip, which is exciting. One thing I notice right away is that this does not come with a cutting mat. So this is what you would put like your vinyl or your paper or your materials on and then load it into the machine. The reason I assume they can get away with not including one of these is because these machines are designed to cut smart vinyl. It's the same vinyl, it's just a little bit wider so you can feed it right into the machine. So they don't have to include one of these because you technically don't need one to use it But it depends on the type of project you're doing like if you're just using a small piece of vinyl You're gonna want to use a mat. This one came with a light grip mat. I'm trying to remember I, I 
feel like my Cricut Joy did not come with a mat either, but I could be wrong in saying that. So don't quote me on that. It's just been a while, so I don't remember. So it says right here, let's get started. Activate your machine, cricut.com forward slash setup for tutorials, troubleshooting, visit cricut.com slash more. It gives you a piece of removable smart vinyl. It says use this during setup to make a sticker. And then there's the warranty and FCC statement. But all of the stuff that you need to know to actually set it up is online. If you are brand new to Cricut, you will likely not already have a Cricut account. I do, so my setup's gonna look slightly different because I'm just going to be adding a machine. I am not setting up my whole account and everything. Let me grab my computer. Let's take the plastic off of this so we can open it up and take a look. So this is like a metallic-y sort of silvery blue. Actually, it might just be silver. It's really difficult to tell. On the bottom, all of these little grippy feet come out if you want them to. And you can actually buy stands for these. I've seen lots of like Etsy sellers or even just on Amazon, especially if you're working with a small, small space. There's a whole bunch of different compartments in here so you can store extra tools or your blades. There's magnetized sections in here as well so your blades and things can stick and they're not rolling around in here. And we'll take this little foam piece off. So this closes and then this magnetizes and stays closed. So you have to close this part first. So if you just pop that up, then the bottom starts to come down. And there's a ridge that sits in here, which is specifically for you to set like your smartphone, or if you have an iPad or a tablet, then you can stick it in there. Then there's spots here on the side that you can stick your tools in. Okay, I'm going to plug this in and then turn on my computer so that we can load up the Cricut website and then get things moving. All right, so right now I have my machine set to the Explore family because that's the last machine that I crafted with. Um, you would click this drop down and choose which machine you're using, but because it's the first time, what I'm going to do is go over to these three lines here and I'm going to click new product setup. You're, you would do that as well if you've never used your machine before. I am going to click smart cutting machine, Cricut Maker 3. So it says, make sure you've cleared 10 inches of space behind the Cricut Maker 3. Plug Cricut Maker 3 into wall outlet, then power on. So there's four buttons here on the side. The farthest to the right button is two lines. That's to pause, like in music. The center button is a sideways little triangle, which is supposed to be like the play button. And then we have the two up and down arrow button. That is to load and unload your material. And then the button directly above that is your power power button. So let's hit that. So every single time you turn your machine on, that is going to happen. It's going to kind of boot up. You'll hear some noises. This unit here, which holds your tools, is going to move one way and then back to the original position. Do not be alarmed when that happens. So we've got it plugged in. Now I'm going to hit next. Pro tip. If your computer requires USB-C and you don't have an adapter, choose Bluetooth. It requires USB-C, which is a different type of USB plug. So I'm going with Bluetooth. So it's not detecting this just yet. So I'm gonna go into my settings and my system preferences, and I'm gonna click on Bluetooth and we're gonna try and search for it. There it is. So it's gonna pop up Typically at the bottom there, I'm gonna hit connect. And now it shows that it's connected. And now we see right here, it says, please wait. So it has detected it as well. So now I'm gonna hit continue, agree. So you can open by clicking these documents and then activate. Just to make sure it's the correct email in there. 
If you've not created an account at all, then you would have to do that first. And I'm gonna hit activate. So it'll take a little bit because there's usually a update. Um, so it's rebooting the machine. But you can see the colors have changed slightly there and it'll probably take a few minutes, so just be patient. So it just did the same thing that it does when you initially turn it on. And now it says my setup is complete. I'm gonna click next. It says let's test your machine. To make sure your machine is working perfectly, we'll cut this vinyl decal. To get started, select next. So we'll click that. Confirm fine point blade is loaded and secured into, cl into clamp B. Right here it says A and B. So you always wanna make sure that that is in the side that it tells you to. So the fine point blade is currently secured into clamp B. So if it's not, you just pop that over to the side and then you would take your blade housing and your blade. So this little thing pushes. So you can see the blade is inside. It kind of disappears almost uh, entirely. It still sticks out slightly, but it's inside there. And then this that the blade is in is called the blade housing. So I'm just going to sit that back on there. And then I close this side and then clamp it shut. Okay, so it says use both hands to insert the smart vinyl sheet that came with your machine in the large white envelope. Push under guides until roller grips the material. So, okay, it says use both hands. You kind of slide in on the tray until roll, roller grips the material. I'm assuming you have to hit the button. Yes, so it says nice. Press the flashing load or unload button. So this button here that we talked about a moment ago is now lit up and it's flashing. So we're just going to hit that button and it's pulling the vinyl in. All right, it looks like it was just making sure that it's in there correctly. And now it says, press go when you're ready to start the cut. Press the flashing go button. So I guess it's not a play button, it's a go button. So let's hit that flashing button. That was really fast. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so immediately I'm like, holy crap, that was fast. <laughs> so now it says unload material, press flashing load unload button. So I'm just gonna press that and it spits it out. So now I can take this, it says to confirm clean cut, peel vinyl decal from the liner. Now when you're actually doing a project, you would have to select which type of material you're using because this is for the setup of the machine. It already knew which type of material, so it knew exactly how deep the blade should be cutting, which means it didn't cut through, and it looks like it's pretty good. Now, I could use my weeding tool to scoop that out, but I don't like wasting material and on the screen, it has me pulling the box that's around the Cricut logo out and like kind of getting rid of it. If I use my weeding tool, I will ruin it. So I just kind of bend this ever so slightly and then start to peel up. And let's see if I can salvage this because I could use this as a sticker on something. Haha, -ha, got it. So it cut perfectly, and then you basically get two stickers out of one if you want the Cricut logo on something, of course. Here, let me. Now it says continue. Welcome to Cricut. You're ready to start using your new cutting machine. We're here to help. I'm gonna hit continue. Start your free trial now. Now this is typically for if you don't already have an account. Um, so you would hit start free trial, but I have already had it. I'm just going to hit maybe later. Ready to learn. So this is really helpful. This was not something that was a thing when I first started with Cricut. So this is a nice addition. You can click on all these different 
videos here and learn how to use your machine. You learn about the materials and then they also have all these different options for you to learn. Honestly, YouTube is an incredible resource for free tutorials. You can, if you're not sure how to do something, you can usually find a tutorial or a video on YouTube. So definitely utilize that. So we've done the machine setup, cut the first project, which was a Cricut decal or sticker. And we are all ready to start using the Cricut Maker 3 for all of our projects. Now, this was just a quick open the box, see what's in there, set up the machine, do the first project. I'm not going to really get into too, too many details about all of the machines and everything, but I think it might be helpful if I did sort of a comparison video of all the different machines. If that's something that you're interested in, let me know down below. I'm sure there's lots of other videos on YouTube right now, but sometimes different people have different opinions on things. So I'm happy to share if it's something that you might find helpful. So let me know. <laughs> Sorry, my camera battery died because as per usual, I'm very long winded. Anyways, um, so there's lots of different machines that came before these ones. The order of the ones I have would be the Cricut Explore Air 2. And then the next model above that in that line is the Cricut Explore Air 3. And then for the Maker, the Maker family, which does more than the Explore family, there's the Cricut Maker and then the Cricut Maker Maker 3. So it may be confusing to some, but there is no Cricut Maker 2. And the reason they did that is because they came out with this machine at the same time they released the Cricut Explore Air 3. And they didn't want it to be confusing to people where they might think that the Cricut Explore Air 3 was a higher model than the Maker that was coming out. So they just made them both 3s. So if you're wondering why this is called the Maker 3, that is why. So there's the Maker, the Maker 3. Um, we've got the Cricut Explore Air 2, and now there's the Cricut Explore Air 3. And I mean, we've got the Joy as well, and there's lots more machines prior to these ones, but um, this is just some of the ones that are currently still in circulation. That is today's video, unboxing my brand spanking new Cricut Maker 3. I'm excited to do some more projects with this, and I actually just got an Amazon notification that a delivery has happened while shooting this. I purchased an engraving tip. I'll be able to do engraving with this, which is exciting. There's just so many things you can do, and it can be really overwhelming overwhelming when you first get started. So watch as many videos as you possibly can. And um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, anyways, <laughs> okay. I need to go upstairs because we need to make supper and uh, then I'll come and play some more in my craft room later. But I hope you have a super awesome day. All my social media is linked, linked in the description box below. If you want to hang out with me in between videos, and um, I will ooh, trip over this cord. Um, I will see you next time. Okay, thanks, goodbye.